The Real Housewives of Orange County Reunion, Season 18 Drama Unleashed. The Real Housewives of Orange County Season 18 Reunion came in hot with two parts that delivered everything from side eyes to bombshells. The Bravo couches were full, but the shade and tea spilling were even fuller. Let's break down the chaos, question the motives, and dissect the drama that had us yelling at our screens. Dash dash dash. Hash 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 Tamra. Where's the Tamra we know? Tamra Judge was the firecracker of the season, setting off drama at every turn. Yet, at the reunion, she seemed uncharacteristically subdued. Where was the pot-stirring queen we've come to expect? Was Tamra trying to repair her image, or did she just lose her voice from all the yelling this season? Her attempts to smooth things over with Shannon felt forced, like a Bravo producer whispered, play nice, or lose your orange. Tamra, we're confused. Is this new energy strategic, or are you just tired of carrying the drama on your back? Dash dash dash. Hash 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 Jen. Standing by her man, but why? Jen Pedranti spent the season defending her relationship with Ryan. But at the reunion, it felt like her defense strategy needed its own lawyer. When Andy Cohen brought up Ryan's cringeworthy fat farm flashbacks, the room collectively gasped. And let's not forget his less than flattering reputation. Why is Jen so determined to stand by him when every other housewife is waving red flags? Does love really conquer all, or is she just hoping he'll stop making 7-Eleven runs for Slurpees long enough to prove himself? Jen, girl, you deserve better. But will you see it before Ryan lands a spin-off show called Rehab and Romance? Dash dash dash. Hash 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 Emily. Lawyer or reality TV detective? Emily Simpson came into the reunion ready to serve legal advice, unsolicited opinions, and just the right amount of shade. But seriously, Emily, are you a lawyer or the Bravo version of Sherlock Holmes? Her deep dives into everyone's relationships and motives felt more like a reality TV research project than genuine concern. When she turned her attention to Jen, it was clear Emily came prepared to cross-examine her. But the bigger question is, who's going to cross-examine Emily about her husband Shane and his infamous slurpy runs? Is Emily's, legal expertise, her way of staying relevant, or is she angling for her own daytime courtroom show? Dash dash dash. Hash 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 Heather Debro, class and clapbacks. Heather Debro continued to embody her role as the ice queen of the OC. Her calm demeanor and pointed responses were a masterclass in reunion etiquette. When Tamara came for her, again, Heather didn't flinch. Instead, she subtly reminded the group why she's in a league of her own. But Heather's insistence on maintaining her, Classy, image felt a little overplayed. Sometimes we just want to see her let loose and give us a messier side. Heather, are you really above the drama, or are you just better at hiding your skeletons? Dash dash dash. Hash 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 Shannon. The spiral continues. Shannon Bador's reunion performance was as chaotic as her season. From dodging questions about her relationship to deflecting blame for her drunken antics, Shannon was a walking, talking spiral. Andy Cohen tried to rein her in, but Shannon's defensive wall was higher than her drink tab. Watching her meltdown was both sad and strangely entertaining. Will Shannon ever admit her own role in the drama, or is she just destined to keep spinning until the next season? And let's be real, is Tequila Shannon really done, or just on a brief hiatus? Dash dash dash. Hash 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 Gina, the background player. Gina Kirschenheider tried to stay in the mix, but it's hard to be memorable when you're overshadowed by bigger personalities. Her attempts to take on Shannon felt half-hearted, and her therapy journey, while admirable, didn't pack the punch we've come to expect from asterisk rhoc asterisk. Gina, sweetie, it's time to either bring more drama or accept your role as a sidekick. Will Gina finally step up next season, or is she destined to be the perpetual backup dancer in the Bravo Circus? Dash dash dash. Hash 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 Andy Cohen, the shade whisperer. Andy Cohen was at his shady best, asking the hard-hitting questions we all wanted answers to. His reactions to the women's antics were priceless, from raised eyebrows to subtle smirks. Andy's ability to stir the pot without spilling it on himself is truly unmatched. But even he seemed frustrated by the lack of accountability from some of the cast. Andy, we feel you, why is it so hard for these women to just admit when they're wrong? Dash dash dash. Hash 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 the burning questions. 1. Why is Tamara so quiet? Is she planning her next move, or did the season exhaust her chaos reserves? 2. Will Jen ever see Ryan for who he really is? The fat farm flashbacks and slurpy runs should have been enough. 3. Is Emily trying to stay relevant by being everyone's life coach? 
And does Shane's slurpy obsession make him the real star of their household? 4. Will Shannon ever stop spiraling? Or is this just her permanent state of being? 5. Can Gina find a storyline that sticks? Therapy is great, but we need more drama, girl. Dash dash dash. Hash 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 parting thoughts. The RHOC season 18 reunion was a mix of high drama and low accountability. The cast brought the shade, the tears, and the awkward silences, but the lack of resolution left us craving more. Will Tamra regain her fire? Will Jen finally open her eyes about Ryan? And will Emily decide what her real job is? Only time, and bravo, will tell. Until then, we'll be here, sipping our tea and waiting for the next season of chaos.